Okay, so today I thought I'd do something a little bit different. We are doing a POV drive in the Tesla Model 3, but this time we're doing it in 360. So I recommend watching this on an iPad or an iPhone, and then you can literally use your finger to flick around the screen and see the car or the interior in 360. So first of all, let's show you the outside of the car, and then we'll go for a little spin. So this is the front of the Tesla Model 3, which I've owned for about three weeks now. I'm currently filming the full review on the car. Of course, you won't want to do much of a 360 look around at the moment, but I thought I'd just show you the front and back before we get into the car. Now, this is the rear side of the car. It's a little bit dirty at the moment. I do need to clean it again before I film the rest of the review tomorrow. But this is the back side of the car. Okay, so now it's time to go for a spin. Okay, let's go for a spin. You're currently sitting in the passenger side of my long range Tesla Model 3. Now remember, you can use your finger to spin around. This is a full 360 degree shot. So you can see exactly what it's like to sit inside the car from the passenger's point of view. We'll drive like this for a few minutes and then I'll stick you in the back so you can see what it's like from a passenger's side. Now uh, you can of course zoom in as well. So if you wanna check out any element of the car, you can do that. But um, I thought this would be a great way see a little bit like what it's being uh, a little bit what it's like being in a Tesla Model 3 if you've never been in one before now I'm recording the audio separately into my camera but it'll also give you a little bit of an idea about the sound levels of the Tesla Model 3 I really do find this to be quite a, a comfortable uh, and quiet car to drive we're doing about 30 miles at the moment and as you can hear it's quite nice So yeah, if this is your first time using a 360 video, just make sure you are watching this uh, on an iPhone, an Android, or an iPad, and that means you can face forward. So if you wanna face forward and see the journey we're doing right now, uh, you can do that. You can face me, you can face down to the floor. The floor's a little bit dirty, by the way, sorry about that. Or you can face behind, or face upwards and look at the sky. Look at that great panoramic roof you get here in the uh, Tesla Model 3. It's definitely something that I really enjoyed in the car and even though it's a pretty grey day today it's nice it's nice and airy and it's something that I look forward to every time I drive the car I'm really looking forward to a nice sunny day um, so we can really get a good feeling of what this kind of panoramic roof can do for a long drive I think it'll make it really nice uh, really relaxing for a long drive So just on your left hand side is the RHS Bridgewater and it's um, one of the new RHS gardens that's going to be uh, in a place called Worsley in Manchester. So that opens this year. So hopefully if we get out of lockdown, it's definitely worth a visit if you, if you like gardens and walks and things like that. Now, of course, this isn't a full in-depth review, but I'm going to be uploading the full review uh, of the car. I'll have had it for about four weeks by the time I upload the review, and I'm trying, going to try and get the, the review done by the weekend. So uh, if you want to see that, just make sure, you, make sure when you subscribe that you hit the notification bell, and then you'll actually get a little notification of when that uh, review is live. Now, we've just gone past a Porsche Panamera and I've written this up in the review. I actually think the front of the Tesla Model 3, especially this black version, actually looks a little bit Porsche-like. Porsche uh, it really reminds me of the Porsche Panamera. When I saw it come towards me, I thought it was another Tesla. I was gonna give them the wave, but uh, it was a Porsche instead. So in a moment when I can pull over, I think we'll change your position so you can sit in one of the rear middle seats. I'm just gonna uh, get around the corner here. And then we'll uh, get that done.
Also, if you've got any questions about the Model 3, anything at all, let me know in the comment section below because I, I promise I do get back to every single comment. It's really good to hear from you guys and uh, you know, it's exciting if you're thinking of getting the car or if you haven't picked one up yet. Um, I know like me, you'll probably have a ton of questions because it is quite different owning a, a car like this compared to a petrol car. I'm now actually heading to, um, it's actually a garden center, but it's kind of a really nice garden center that um, has food, really nice food, um, and it's even got a free Tesla charger there. So uh, as I don't have a home charger, I'm gonna head there now and uh, get a little charge. Okay, so you're now sitting in the rear middle seat of the Tesla Model 3. Uh, let's continue the drive. Here we go. So again, you can still look around the car, maybe have a look around the back seats, see what you think of those. Um, you can, of course, zoom into the screen. You can see what I'm doing here. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put on autopilot and it's just a double tap of the gear, uh, well, the gear shift stick. And you can see two blue lines come up here and that puts the car into autopilot. Now, I've got my hand on the steering wheel. I'm not actually steering or accelerating. My hands, uh, sorry, my foot is completely off that accelerator and it's gonna keep me perfectly in these lines and gonna keep me to the speed limit, which is really, really great. So let me know in the comments what you think about the car. I mean, have a look at the roof, have a little look around the back seats. Um, what's fantastic about the back seats in the Model 3 is that all three of them are heated, uh, including the front two. So no matter how many passengers you have in, up to the five, they all get a really nice heated seat and you can control that down here. And you can see if you go here, We've got one, two, three, four, five, and we've even got the heated steering wheel, which is really great. So we're approaching a roundabout now, so I'm gonna take this off autopilot and take back control. And the garden center we're about to go to is just down here. And fingers crossed, the Tesla charger will be free, as in free to, to use it. Uh, it's always free. Okay, we're going to pull across here. And I still think it's incredible, you know, having this car for three or four weeks now, just how good this screen is. And you can see that it's tracking wheelie bins, the cars that come past. Obviously didn't do that one as I'm talking about it, but you'll see the cars um, as they come past will be scanned in. It should have some people up here on the side potentially. Usually it does get them there a little bit further away, um, but you will see pedestrians, you'll see bikes, you'll see motorbikes, um, and it's really good. It just shows you exactly visually what the car can see. Uh, and as someone who's a bit of a nerd, a bit of a geek when it, you know, it comes to these kind of things, I really love that. It's really, really interesting. So this is Bent's Garden Centre. If you're ever up in the Manchester area, I know garden centres aren't the most exciting of places, but this one is actually really cool. It's, um, it's got a huge food court. It's got jacuzzis, hot tubs. It's like a, it's like a five-star garden centre, if there could ever be one. Now, I've got a feeling someone's in the Tesla charger spot. I'm really hoping they're not because I want to get a little video. No, I think we're good. I think we're okay. So we're going to pull in here. We'll reverse in and then we'll get charging. Also, the rear, if you look at the front here, the reverse parking sensors are really, really good. They just line up beautifully. Need to get out of the car. I'm just going to get out of the car to remove the wire uh, and then we'll uh, show you what it's like outside. So we are back in the car. I'll take you for another little spin. Um, you're in the passenger seat again, of course. Uh, I'm now going to head back home. So what we'll do, we'll just do this drive uh, for a couple of minutes and then I'll switch it off. If you'd like to see Another one of these drives, maybe when we're in somewhere a little bit, uh, a place that's a bit sunnier, 
Um, we're going down to Cornwall in a few weeks after lockdown starts to end. So if you want to see, maybe, I don't know, maybe a, a beach route, POV, or a different city, um, when I go back to Norwich, let me know in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. But anyway, I'll let you continue with this drive with me. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. Getting a little bit busy now. The great thing about Tesla is uh, it's quick, really quick. What I'll do is I'll give it a little bit of welly for you in a second if we get past this van. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. There we go. All the way up to 70, just how fast that is. It's so cool. It's the best feeling ever. It's, it's something on the Tesla I don't think I'll ever get bored of, that 0 to 60. And one thing I'm going to do, by the way, um, I purchased the Model 3 long range uh, and I was I was so close to getting the performance model but it was like an extra 10 grand I wasn't a big fan of the the turbine wheels I know a lot of people really like those but I wasn't a big fan so I actually made a decision I thought you know what, I'm gonna save the 10 grand but I'm gonna pay the 1500 for the speed boost so it gives you gives you the performance um, in a car with a longer range and the wheels I prefer so I'm gonna be doing the upgrade as well in a future video um, I thought I would just sort of see what it's like with the, the, with the standard kind of 0 to 60 and to be honest it's incredibly fast it's really fast and I, I probably would say to most people don't bother upgrading because it's so quick but it's just something that I, I, I don't know you know I had my heart set on it so it's something that I think I want to do I'm almost putting myself off but I thought you know it'll, it'll make good content as well so um, let me know if you're thinking of doing the same but honestly, it's so fast. This is faster than most other sports cars I've owned. Well, it is faster, it is faster. So, you know, it's pretty crazy. And I just love that you can do that on a software upgrade as well. And again, I'll put on, just before I close it off for the day, I'll put on autopilot and just show you what happens here. You can see there's traffic ahead. I'm gonna keep my hand on the steering wheel just in case, but it should slow down nicely for this car. So even if you don't have the full package, as long as you've got a car in front of you, your car will slow down and speed up as well for traffic. So you can see like, I'm not steering, I'm not accelerating or braking. Um, but as this car is moving through the traffic, my car will continue and you have to be careful because obviously it's not going to stop for lights at all so you do want to be careful of that but it's just nice that you can chill out in traffic and I know I said it earlier but it is really nice and, and traffic is something that a lot of people don't talk about but I think when you're driving traffic is quite frustrating because if you've got a manual car at the moment you'll be changing gear using your clutch accelerating stopping you know you actually do quite a lot in traffic if it's not completely standstill and 
having autopilot and traffic just means you can just leave your hand on the steering wheel, your car's gonna accelerate, your car's gonna break, and you can just sit and listen to the radio or have a conversation with your friend, knowing that your, your car's gonna do a lot of the work for you, and of, and of course you need to pay attention to that road, but um, it just takes some of the stress levels out. You know, it's weird how being stuck in traffic is quite stressful even though you're just sitting in a, in a car seat doing nothing. And here we go, we're pulling up to these lights and the car is slowing down, I'm not braking at all. And someone did ask in the comments, does it use the brakes or does it use regen? And it appears to use regen, you can see the little bar going green there if you zoom in. Um, so it does appear to be using regen too, so that's pretty good, so you're not wasting any energy there. But you can see the car has come to a complete standstill. My hands aren't on the steering wheel, we're now going green, the car will pull away. Okay guys, so I'm going to end it there. I hope you've enjoyed this little video today. As I mentioned, the full review will be up later this week, hopefully um, by the weekend. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, and again, any comments or questions, let me know in the comments section below. And I'll see you in the next video.